Welcome to the seven part power query challenge, which is intended to help you practice your skills in this very underrated tool in Microsoft Excel. Power Query is about transforming your data, automating that process to save you hours and hours of time. So throughout this challenge, the first three parts are going to be dedicated to specific skills, grouping rows, dealing with stacked data, and then extracting data from certain columns. And the next four sections will focus on specific tasks or use cases. So we'll be dealing with an SAP report, a student grades data set, a passenger airline transport data set, and a final challenge to deal with dynamic header rows. As we move through each part, I'll introduce the exercise and what is required of you. I recommend you have a go at solving each one before I take you into Power Query to show you my particular solution. Now it's worth bearing in mind that with all of these problem sets, there's often more than one way of doing it. And that's what's interesting to me is to see how different people solve different problems. The sixth part of this Power Query challenge uses data from the Eurostat website. The Eurostat website contains all sorts of data sets about the European Union that they make freely available online. Scrolling through this data set, I found this air transport data set looking at air passenger transport by reporting country. I took an extract of that, which you can find on the other tab in this file. Now, as you can see, it's not in an ideal format. We have colons where there are no values. And in addition, we have all of these grouped headers on each row. So that's going to be a bit more tricky to solve. So with this data, you are working on a project looking at airport taxes in Belgium only. You'll need to take the raw data, remove what you don't need and aggregate the rest to form a simple summary. I've provided the conditions that you'll need to filter by below and you'll see the desired output at the bottom where we have one value per quarter of 2022. As we go through each of the challenges, I'll also show you little hints and tricks as to how to make your workflow more efficient. I'm also going to show you some useful data sources like Eurostat, where some of our data is drawn from, and you can get tons more data sets from here. And I'll also show you some examples of Power Query documentation and how you can use that to check the functions that you're using. I hope you find this a useful format to practice Power Query and develop your problem-solving skills. Good luck.